What's going on guys? Today I'm going to give you an inside look at the new Nissan Z and go over an official pricing guide from Nissan so you can buy the best Z possible. But before we check out the new Z, I want to show you some old school Z's, this 510 wagon and other cars that I thought y'all would like. And there's even more inside the main venue. Of course, we got a bunch of Z's like this one right here, but not just Z's. We have this R32 on some TE's looking nice. Looks like we have a little bit of a track spec one too over here. We got a couple hiding in the back over here looking nice and clean. But now let me take you inside the garage where the Z is at. Got a lot of cars in here, but let's hear what the new Z sounds like. This exhaust sound will come from the VR30 DDTT, which is the same engine in the Q60 Red Sport, and will produce 400 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. Wait, hold on, hold on one second. Okay, me from the future here. Nissan actually recently leaked their price ordering guide, which shows all the different specifications and different parts that you'll add for each given trim. So let me show you guys exactly what that looks like. Hey guys, little me here. Let's go over the vehicle price ordering guide for the new Z. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this is the one for Canada, so it might be a little bit different depending on where you're at. Now, these are all the different items that you get with the different packages for the new Z. A couple of little ones that I'll go over right now or just highlight, have to do a little, more, a little bit more with a track oriented feel and also just a day-to-day -day driving feel with the Bose audio system and also the better seats as well. We'll go over that in a little bit. These are all the different colors that the new Z comes in as well. The blue looks really, really great. That's the one that obviously this video is about, but I know a lot of us have seen like the yellow, for example, that also looks great. So don't think you can really go wrong here with any color. Now let's take a look at what the performance package will give you specifically. If you guys are really looking to buy a Z, I would definitely look at spending just like a little bit more money to get the performance package since it comes with so much stuff. So in terms of daily drivability, you get the Bose audio system, the better seats, the better steering wheel. So all the stuff that you touch on a day-to-day -day basis is gonna feel higher quality. And also the Bose audio system is gonna just sound a lot better as well. And then from a track perspective, you get the mechanical LSD and you also get the bigger front and rear tires as well. Since no matter what package you get, you're gonna get the 400 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque twin turbo V6 engine, with the standard edition, you're just going to get the 245 square setup, which is going to be a little bit hard to handle with that much horsepower. But having 255s in the front and 275s in the back will definitely make it a lot easier to manage. Uh, in addition to that, you also get the rev match technology and the bigger brakes as well. So overall, performance package definitely comes with a lot. So definitely look into spending just a little bit more to get that performance package. So let's go back to the video. Taking another look at the Z in front of us, I'm personally hoping that it can do 0 to 60 in the low fours since the Q60 Red Sport can do it around 4.5 seconds and weighs around 4,000 pounds. The new Z also takes a lot of key inspirations from Zs in the past, including the 240Z headlights and front hood, the 300ZX tails, and is also based on an improved version of the 370Z platform. Also taking inspiration from the 370Z in the past are the sport brakes with four piston calipers and 14 inch rotors. And this particular Z was fitted with Bridgestone Potenza S007s that were 255 in the front and 275 in the back. The new Nissan Z is a big improvement from the previous 370Z. Nissan has added a 13% increase in cornering G's by enhancing body rigidity, adding a better feeling electronic power steering rack, and wider front tires. They've also added a new monotube shock design that results in a 20% reduction in dampening force to help minimize impacts over uneven surfaces. Nissan has even added an advanced launch control system that allows you to get the best 0-60 time as possible. 
Overall, the engineering team tuned the chassis, the cooling, the suspension, and steering to ensure the driver always feels connected with the car. Now, taking a look inside the car, we find a pair of sports seats that look pretty well bolstered and will also come with either an 8 or 9 inch display with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at the new Nissan Z. Let me know what you're most excited about with this car in the comments below and we'll see you next time.